My name is uh, Rod Watts, and um, I have a foot in two different places. One in the Graduate Center in uh, psychology, the um, critical social psychology uh, area, and I'm also in the uh, Silverman School of Social Work that's uh, part of uh, Hunter College. And so those are my two appointments. And uh, my area of specialization is, broadly speaking, I would say, is liberation psychology, but more specifically, it's looking at the uh, social and political development of young people and how they understand themselves uh, in the larger context of their society. The uh, name of the project is the International Study on Youth Community Organizing and Civic Engagement. So that's the political part and a civic part. And um, we're funded primarily by Atlantic uh, Philanthropies here in uh, New York City. And uh, we're also funded by the Hazen Foundation and by the Cricket Foundation. And uh, so we were partially funded. So we're, the overall amount uh, of the original budget was about uh, Six hundred twenty thousand dollars, and we're about right now. We're um, about uh, two hundred thousand dollars more. We want to raise, so we're actually talking to some other funders now. So the project is it's a kind of a sprawling project because it's uh, seven different uh, uh, youth uh, organizations in uh, three or four countries, depending on how you count. And um, so, if I would say the who, uh, what, and um, and where I would say who, it's, it's young people, teenagers, high school age, and a few college age folks. And um, they're in four different countries here in the US. They're in San Francisco, Denver, Chicago, and New Orleans. In the Republic of Ireland, we have another site, and uh, yet another in Northern Ireland, and finally in South Africa. And uh, so the common aim of all these organizations is for young people and for uh, adults to work in partnership around social issues. And um, the what is really about looking at issues of social injustice, uh, looking at what it means to be a citizen, and really engaging on people in such a way that they make a long-term commitment to being citizens. And not just citizens who um, continue things as they are, although many times that's what you, exactly what you want to do, maintaining existing institutions, but also to identify and engage around issues that uh, um, represent forms of injustice. So we have young people in these seven sites working on a variety of issues. Uh, some work on immigration, others on school reform, others on the uh, school to prison pipeline, where so many young people are now getting prison records and end up in school for periods of time. Uh, immigration, and what they do is they organize in conjunction with adults and to begin to just the institutions that can make a change. And they've done some fabulous work and had some amazing outcomes that you wouldn't expect for young people uh, in many cases. We get so many images, negative images of young people, to see young people doing amazing things. Uh, in California, the Coleman Advocates has actually, through the work with young people, uh, managed to get a new youth and child agency in city government where none existed before that's funded. Uh, the um, Kenwood Oakland Community Organization in Chicago has managed to get legislation passed for uh, a youth summer jobs. Uh, in Denver, uh, the Padres and Unidos, the um, adults uh, and youth, parents and youth together, they've managed to um, work with the police to change their policies of how they deal with disciplinary issues in schools, and so they're working with them together. Vela, Vietnamese uh, um, a youth leadership organization in, in New Orleans, has been involved and getting the schools to live up to, to some of their um, obligations in the school system. And now they've invited them in to work and partner with them around school-related issues. Equal Education South Africa is doing work with improving the school systems there. And in an ongoing way, is, is changing uh, literally the, the face of, uh, uh, of education by building new um, um, schools that are built out of concrete rather than mud in the rural areas. And in Ireland, uh, they're working around a variety of issues that have to do with um, young people being involved and having a voice in the new government there in Northern Ireland, the uh, WIMPS program, also known as uh, Where's My Public Servant, and the base in um, the Republic of Ireland, which is sort of the newer kid on the block around some of these political issues, but is now and is very much engaged in campaigns to have young people involved in uh, especially child uh, human rights. What we really want to do is, in, in most of um, the area of philanthropy and to a lesser extent in scholarship, 
people don't think of youth community organizing well, social justice, as something that really contributes to youth development. They sort of say, well, that's political work, and positive youth development is another area. What we're trying to do is show that they're actually getting young people involved in politi uh, political work contributes to their development as young people. And there are a number of things that we'd like to have young people develop, which is good social skills, leadership ability, which both areas value very much, uh, ability to uh, deal with their own emotions effectively, work cooperatively with others, learn how to plan, all those things that are, are, are areas of activity that are important to uh, youth community organizing, which I've just talked about, and the area of positive youth development, which traditionally has been less involved in getting young people involved in political issues and much more involved in, involved in community issues around community service and working in um, civic uh, sorts of organizations. So we want to bring those together in the mind of funders, uh, have scholars when they think of youth development think about uh, political work as something that contributes to their development, and so broaden the field in that way. And probably the thing that I think brings the two most together is this idea of leadership. Because as you know, to be a good leader, you have to be able to relate well to others, so you have to have good social skills. You have to be organized so you can move a vision into reality. You have to have some command over your own, your own feelings and your own thinking and to be able to be open to that of other people. So to be a good leader um, uh, and a leader with integrity involves many of the skills they want young people to develop. So I think the two are really uh, um, ones that we will be able to bring together in this project and, and show both sides how uh, they have to be concerned with both their development as human beings but also uh, their role as active citizens. Probably the highlight of it is in January, because this is in so many different places and so much is done electronically rather than personally. He said, well, let's bring all seven sites together in one place. And what better place to do it uh, uh, than Cape Town, South Africa, which, by the way, is on the ocean. Uh, and we brought them all together. Uh, we all shared a hotel. We had two or three days of meeting together. And it was an amazing experience. One of the things we were worried about, we said we have organizations in Ireland, South Africa, the U.S., how are they going to relate to each other? What are we going to do to kind of break the ice? We were, we were really worried about nothing because they all connected very much in, in issues around uh, human rights and social justice. They took off, uh, and they shared with each other what they did. They learned very much from each other. Uh, they, they helped us to understand more about the kind of circumstances they're dealing with, and every one of the organizations brought someone who uh, was a young person from the organization, because we didn't do youth. Remember, it's adults and youth working together. And so the young people, as always, which is really a tonic for me, which makes this work, this work worthwhile, is they just uh, were amazing in the contribution they made, their poise, their self-confidence. Uh, all the things that uh, we like to see in young people as adults, they had, including the ability to get us straight when we were off track uh, and we were thinking like adults, and not thinking more broadly about how they understood our uh, things. So they were full partners in the process and broader perspective that we wouldn't have had as adults without them there. So that uh, gives me that kind of hope and, you know, being an academic can be a, um, uh, the, a sort of an occupational hazard is being uh, a cynical and that gets washed away when I'm uh, working with young people.